Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this month's favorites and empties with a touch of fails. <laughs> this uh, month has been a little bit, um, yeah, suboptimal, let's say for me. I am still battling uh, um, tension headaches and that really, yeah, drops everything, makes a mess of me being able to work, me being able to film and uh, do makeup. So I thought since this morning I'm not feeling horrible and I um, have a little bit of time, I would film this video. I apologize for not keeping up the three videos a week that I was doing so well for, but yeah, that just means that I have to be filming every weekend at least three videos. And um, last weekend was my husband's birthday and it wasn't last weekend, but we celebrated last weekend and that meant I just cooked and cleaned for one and a half days. <laughs> you might have seen the food that I made on my Instagram stories, but we're not here for food, we're here for makeup. So let's get into the favorites first. You might have seen in uh, one of my latest Get Ready With Me's with new products, I tried Soap Brows. And uh, I have to say, I was very skeptical because I didn't think it would look good on me. And um, I have to say, I. Um, I am almost a convert uh, to soap brows. It looks very nice. They stay in place like no other brow gel. Literally, no other brow gel does the same as soap brows. For soap, I use this uh, Chorus Chamomile one. Let me see if I can avoid getting soap everywhere. This is what it looks like. And it's actually just a uh, transparent soap. You see pieces missing because I cut from this to use as soap in the house so I had this already laying around and the way I do it I just spray fix plus on it scratch some uh, soap off with uh, a spoolie and then put it in my brows and after that fill it in with a pomade um, I remember mentioning that I wanted to try it also with a uh, pencil that didn't work out very well I thought my uh, NYX micro brow wouldn't actually give me the right um, hair like strokes uh, on the hair that was wet with the soap or on the skin next to it so that didn't work out but I am liking soap brows I stopped doing them every day because I was like every day every day since that video and I stopped because I have a brow gel in my uh, project pan so I actually have to use it up so today for example I have just a brow gel on and you can see that my brows are just not so feathery or spiky depending on how you want to call it. So that was so brows. Then uh, a serum that I've been loving is this uh, Paula's Choice Resist Intensive Wrinkle Repair Retinol Serum. I had tried a sample or the looks to size of this before and then I um, got my hands on the full size and I'm really really enjoying it. This is not a very strong retinol. This choice has the 1% clinical and the uh, booster. There are two different products that are much more uh, strong in retinol. This I think is a 0.1% but uh, the texture of the, the serum is so nice. It's quite, it's, I would describe it as a jelly oil if it makes sense. I use it at night as um, as my serum and then I put on top either a cream, the uh, Pixie Rose Ceramide Cream actually, that's also a favorite. I should also put it in here. I've been loving that cream. And um, yeah, overall, I can't say I've been seeing that my skin looks super young, but I've been uh, enjoying using this serum. And uh, there's no irritation whatsoever because it has a low level of retinol. So I've been really liking this. Then small product mentions, I wouldn't say favorites because these are products that I have in my collection for a long time and I've been loving for a long time, but two products I picked out again to use for uh, different looks and I fell back in love with. One is um, this Lime Crime Velveteen in Saddle. It is a beautiful, beautiful terracotta shade, medium level of darkness, not, not a dark brown, not a light nude, not too orange. Loved it. I wore this um, on Sunday in, um, and, and another time this week. 
loved it absolutely loved it and then the other one is a blush of a brand that i don't even know if it's still around i haven't found them on instagram i think they still have a website where they sell mainly to salons and um, esthetician boutiques and professionals but the brand is called madina it's a italian brand and this is the prism blush in number three look at this gorgeous coral it is so beautiful and I used it for one of my Pantone colors uh, Instagram challenges that we did this week with um, Ludovica and the other girls and um, yeah I love this it has a, you can actually see it on camera it has a slight satiny finish not glittery at all looks beautiful love this and um, yeah it's been in my collection for years but I just fell back in love with it Fails for the month are in general my uh, search for a new tinted moisturizer or BB cream or something with a light coverage with a high SPF that I can just slap on instead of my moisturizer in the morning and just run out the door. Um, I have been praising my Origins tinted moisturizer right here. I've this is what I used, this is actually in my empties, and I needed to substitute it to buy uh, something else. And I thought, well, instead of buying the same one, since it's quite glowy, and maybe I can find something that has a little bit of a, um, yeah, something that can uh, keep my skin a bit more matte, um, I was looking just to a step up from this. I like this, but it's only one shade, and they, um, it's a little bit too glowy for me. So I said, let's try something else. I went around looking everywhere. I got a sample of the Lancome Skin Feels Good. Um, this is their tinted moisturizer. It has a light coverage and the shade I, I got was 02C Blonde. When I asked in store in Douglas, this was the only level two shade. There was no warm, um, cool and neutral, but the C in this told me this was a cool toned CC cream or BB cream or tinted moisturizer and indeed put on my skin I looked gray and pink so it was definitely the wrong undertone for me and uh, um, I was looking on different websites in the Netherlands and the only other level 2 uh, that I could find is a 2.5 uh, and that I think is warm, but it's I can't find it in any store, so I cannot try it. So this was a fail for the shade range. Terrible shade range. Then I ordered for much less the Holika Holika Aqua Petite BB SPF 25. Um, and this is a Korean brand and this color is horrible on me again extremely i think you can see it extremely gray and uh pink just not the right undertone for me and it is also very moussey and thick um i didn't like the effect on my skin at all and uh just a big fail now this is used two times so this will just go into my bucket if somebody wants it um, because I am not gonna use it or force myself to use it. It was a small investment of seven euros. I can deal with that. It's okay. <laughs> then uh, another fail that I don't have on me because I already returned it is the, C the, is the Kiehl's CC cream. This is, I feel like, quite a um, new, more recent product for them. And I was matched in store to the shade number two. I asked for a sample, they didn't have it. And what they said was, you can actually um, try it at home. And if you don't, if it doesn't work for you, just return it within 15 days. And uh, I am actually super surprised and actually very pleasantly surprised from the customer service of Kiehl's because in Europe, usually, you can cannot return open cosmetics. So I was very surprised, very impressed, so I decided to buy it on the spot and try it at home. I personally would not have bought it as I did with the Lancome. Because they're quite pricey, I'm not gonna buy them to try them, I wanna buy them to keep them, so uh, I would have asked for a sample but they didn't have them. So I tried it. If you saw my Instagram stories, you saw how somewhere between the yellow and the orange I looked. It was terrible. And the shade one is very fair uh, and with a much more neutral to pink undertone. And this was literally just straight up yellow. I tried it in store on my chin 
and I thought it was okay but uh, then when I tried it at home it was just I, I literally looked like Donald Trump <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. But it was a, it was not a good experience. It was just not good. So I returned that one, and um, I just went and rebought this. Spoiler for my haul that will come further in the month. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's a good way to move into my uh, empties. Um, I finished my Origins tinted moisturizer. I rebought it. I just can't find anything that has a high SPF that I can wear in the appropriate amount also, so that I know I have a little bit of sun protection. Again, I wouldn't wear this at the beach. There I want to slather on uh, proper, just proper SPF 30, 40, whatever, uh, that is also mineral, but I don't like to have heavy um, makeup in summer, says the one with two primers and this foundation on, but that's because I haven't opened the new one of this yet. So this does the greatest job with a light coverage and a, um, a high SPF of 40. Love it, glowy. I can recommend it for all skin types. I uh, personally um, set the center of my face with a powder, but for the rest it looks really good. The only thing is there's only one shade and that is already too light for my mom, who is just an Italian olive tan skin tone so um origins please expand the range do more shades um this is one of those where you mix it in and it kind of breaks into the pigment um particles in the cream and um it does kind of melt with your skin tone but there's only such a range that they can actually cater to now that i blabbed about it Another empty uh, is the Pixie and Caroline Hirons Double Cleanse. Now this I am a little bit disappointed with because this only lasted me one or two months. Um, and uh, this one had a cream cleanser and an oil cleanser inside. So you get two products, it costs around 30 euros but it didn't last a long time. I remember with my body shop cleansing oil. It took me months, 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 half a year to a year to finish it. And I was using it every single day to remove my makeup. And then I go in with this balm and it's done in one or two months. So um, I thought it was a little bit too little for the, uh, too, too little amount for the price that you pay. It's two times 50 mils. So it's not a lot, but 30 euros is quite a bit. So I loved the texture of both. I definitely, if you have the budget, buy it. But for me, it was not, yeah, it lasted too little. That's the only thing. Going into my empties bag. Oh, um, I took a bath. So here is the package of my Avo bath by Lush. This is a bath bomb that I keep repurchasing. I love this bath bomb. It smells great. It moisturizes the skin um, and it's blue, minty, teal. I don't know, it looks very nice <laughs> um, in the bath. So I use this one up, I can definitely recommend it. Next up is uh, something for hair. This is Joico Animate. This is discontinued, but I used to use it for my um, curls as a, as a styling product to make my hair curl and for my curls to last a little bit longer. And I actually miss it. I finished it now for a few weeks and I've been using a gel in place and excuse for my hair it's not really great but you can see that there's it's not like the gel keeps much more curls than this Joico Animate and I feel like the gel makes my hair dirty faster whereas this one wasn't so I miss it I know it's discontinued and a lot of people working with Joico miss it but um, I finished that one then I don't remember if I already showed you this but I finished the chemistry brand Heal Chemistry um, cream, foot cream. This is the big one of 100 mils and I love this stuff. This is the best foot cream I've ever tried. It has, um, it, it really changes the look of your feet. If you just apply it, it does both the exfoliation and the hydration, moisturizing, everything. It's not greasy. I apply it in the evenings, just when I'm in bed, put it on my feet 
and then go to bed. And uh, what it also is positive for is calluses on my hands. And um, I like to lift weights uh, with barbells. So I get calluses here by lifting, by holding the barbells here and here. And uh, this cream does a great job while I massage it into my feet to also take care of my calluses on my hands. So two in one, love it. I already have a new one that I purchased with their Black Friday sale. And um, yeah, I'm using it now. It's perfect for spring to get ready for summer feet, I would say. I finished the mask. I am on a quest to finish all of my uh, travel sizes and sample sizes of face masks because I, I haven't bought a full sized face mask, face mask in a long time. Um, because I have so many. And this is the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding. It was a little swirly thing. Um, I think you can probably still see the swirl in the lid. Or not really, I don't know. It was this two component, one white and one black. And um, it smells really nice and spa-like, but I didn't really see particular, I don't know, pore cleansing capabilities. Like, straight up green clay does so much more but of course it's more drying so uh, this I could apply all over my face I used to uh, usually apply it just while I'm coloring my hair or while I'm in a bath when I have time in between my beauty routine uh, on the weekends usually Sundays or so and um, I would not go out and repurchase it I think the full the full size is 38 dollars i think this is a travel size yeah 35 of 25 mil um but the full size is a hundred and something and it's 38 dollars i think that's too much uh, for a mask that didn't per se clean out my pores that much oh and of course if i was doing my face masks very often it meant i took baths the la chava bath and i colored my hair so i have another empty of my magi rouge i use the shade 5.64 and yeah, I colored my hair. I have quite a few gray hair um, and I need to cover them. There's no question about that. I finished another um, travel size of the Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, I refilled this because I have the big bottle that Pixie gifted for Christmas and um, I refilled this one because the big one doesn't fit in my drawers in my cabinet. So I finished another one, I'll go re refill it and put it back in my uh, cabinet. Right now I'm actually using the Cosarex BHA and AHA um, toner. So I'll wait a little bit to use this. What I have actually been doing, because I have an excess of it and I know that I'm not gonna run out anytime soon, is I actually been using it on my legs um, after shaving or epilating so that um, it prevents from ingrown hair and uh, all the little bumps that I get when I epilate my legs. So that works really well. Also, some like side hack for your AHA. Next is for body. I finished this Dove Derma Spa Summer Revived. I used the medium to dark and this is a gradual sunless tanner, a gradual tanner. And you can just get this at the supermarket. It works great. The only thing you need to make sure is that you wash in between your fingers and your, the palms of your hands after moisturizing your body. It gives you a very natural um, look to the skin and uh, it comes out clear but then uh, of course it tans your skin so yeah I finished it I used tons of these over the years I remember writing about it on my blog when I didn't have a YouTube channel two or three years ago so yeah love this one so definitely recommend it to keep a little bit of a healthy tan more masks this is the Sephora pineapple face mask I I don't know this is supposed to be pore perfecting and smoothing I didn't really see anything particular but it was a pleasant experience so let's put it that way I like to do face masks uh, I take a bath I do my pore um, or my clay masks my pore purifying masks and then I put on a sheet mask moving on eye creams I had been testing since I finished my Vichy a few months ago by now or at least a month ago um, this is the Kiehl's Youth dose eye treatment and it is a nice daytime um, eye cream it has a little bit of silicones and a slight tint so it actually gives you just enough coverage and um, yeah fine line smoothing to get out of the house I uh, would purchase the full size if I decided that I don't want to wear 
concealer on the days I wear my tinted moisturizer. I enjoyed it and um, yeah, just keep in mind there's silicones in here and I think it's one of the new ones. It comes in a tube which is also one of my requirements for an eye cream. So yeah, I did, uh, I did enjoy this one. I would repurchase in case I have, yeah, necessity for something that also has a little bit of coverage. Another eye cream I finished is my nighttime cream and this is the La Roche-Posay Rodermic R Eyes and this is uh, a retinol eye cream. It contains a very small amount of retinol and I think retinol palmitate. It has at least two types of retinol in here and it's a milder version of their, I think, face, face cream that is Rodermic R. I liked it a lot. This is at least the second or third tube I have and I will be repurchasing. I am now going through the Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream both morning and night and I just bring my uh, serum up to my cheekbone so that um, it helps also with the fine lines in, around my eyes. So yeah, finish these eye creams, would repurchase both. I finished a tea tree uh, oil by the body shop, the small size. I have found out they have the big size, so now I bought that so that I don't have to go through one a month of these. I use this daily, twice a day actually, to uh, disinfect my piercings and they're actually doing so much better. Um, so I know I need to cut my hair, but um, they're doing so much better. We're around the 10 month mark and they were a pain to heal, but um, we're almost getting there. I think this summer I might go to a Pearson and get them switched out so that I don't have to deal with these studs anymore. I just want pretty jewelry in there. So yeah, another tea tree oil, which I already repurchased. Um, I think I already talked about the Marc Jacobs mascara enough in my project pan, but it's here in my empties because it's empty. So um, you've heard all about it in my project pan already. Then I finished the Kiko, this is the Perfect Gel Top Coat and um, yeah, I liked this. Uh, I have other top coats I'm, I'm using right now. I'm using Sechvit um, right now and uh, this was just a nice, on the thick side of the top coats, but it's a gel effect, so it was very shiny and um, I couldn't get anything out anymore, so this is going. I also finished uh, uh, The Ordinary Salicylic Acid and um, I would repurchase this. It's very nice. I used to use it all over my skin as a, as a serum step in my routine. Nowadays, I prefer to use my salicylic acid in a toner form. So either the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid or now I'm using the COSRX so BHA and AHA toner. So. Yeah, I would repurchase it because it's it's a very uh, inexpensive uh, way of having salicylic acid, but I kind of prefer it in a toner. So yeah, for now, this is finished and done. And the last thing I have here is a sample size from Sephora in Italy where I uh, went in October of the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I hated this. It sunk into my pores. It settled in my lines. It separated on my skin. I hated this. I don't know why some people really love it. It did not work for me and I had it full so I used it at least three or four times. I just didn't like it. It didn't look good on me at all. And that was that. I chatted so much that my camera switched off after 20 minutes of blabbing. So I, I thank you if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed these um, roundup videos. I just don't think my favorites are long enough to make them by themselves lately. So um, yeah, I just put everything condensed. It was a good month for the empties. I will put my total here because I haven't calculated it yet. Bad YouTuber. And I will leave it at this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to follow my content. And thank you for hanging around. I know we're 1800, which is a nice, um, yeah, a nice uh, milestone. And uh, let's push towards 2000. We'll make it eventually, I guess. I don't know. It is, uh, the, the numbers game is just not interesting these days. And I feel like I want to share, so I will keep sharing regardless. And I hope you guys enjoy my content and I will keep doing it for you guys. Let me know what you thought about these products uh, down below. If you have any eye cream or tinted moisturizer, tinted moisturizer recommendations, I can't speak. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.